Welcome to another episode on the Thirsty Sisters TTS. I am Sylvia. I am Emma. And today's airs Emerald Sound of the Day is kindly sponsored by Mandy. Ready? Ah. ah, yeah. So if you're watching on YouTube, you mm. realize, eh, this one looks a bit familiar. <laughs> yeah, just in a different color because just now Mandy did a drop by lah. Yes. Yeah, and then he gave me not one, not two, but three packs of the mask that we used the previous time. Yes, but it's in a lighter shade of blue. Yeah, and he gave me three because he said I'm nice. Yes, <laughs> you know, I, I truly believe that he gave you because you. The moment he walked in, Nina's like, hey, you changed specs. Ah. Yeah. So I think like he feel like, wow, Nina I, got notice me. I got observed him. Me right? <laughs> <laughs> in my fashion, just like he observed men for you, you observe <laughs> him. <His> spectacle. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And in fact, right, I think he didn't want to give me any mask <laughs> one. He gave a big bag, but because I say he changed spectacle, right? Yeah. He immediately, like, yeah. he gave one and then two, two. is like, no, three, yeah, three. Yeah, three, because you're nice. <laughs> wow. So, <laughs> today's topic of the day is very interesting. Oh, is it? Yes. What is it about? So, it is 36 questions to fall in love. And you might think, ah, oh, what sort of nonsense? But apparently, uh-huh. if you go through these 36 questions with um, someone of the other sex, right? Uh-huh. It's like almost guaranteed. To fall in love Wow I highly yeah. doubt it eh. You know why I highly doubt it not? I've been asking 1,001 <laughs> questions Right Nobody ever fall in love with me Because yeah. you were asking The wrong question Okay yes. So we will see Whether this 36 question Will make me fall in love or Yes not, So you know um, When uh, Winston and Jade Right mm-hmm. They told me oh, Silver please Can we do 36 questions I was like Okay I've heard about it mm. Because I think It appeared in a New York Times article mm. But this was like Quite some time ago I think it's like 2015 or something Right mm-hmm. when this article Came out mm-hmm. And like a lot of people knew So I went to ask My best friend Kitten Like mm. babe Do you know 36 Oh my god girl Then she's like yes <laughs> I was like that, that is a very very fast reply She's like yes It's like Then she, she started giving me What's her definition of it She says like A series of vulnerable questions <laughs> So that You can hear how vulnerable The other party is And then she says Her theory is that When you are vulnerable To somebody uh-huh. right Like you have no choice but to open your heart a little bit and talk about these kind of things. So are you trying to tell me that I could have fallen in love five years ago? <laughs> yes, but you are so not a vulnerable person, which is why we're going to run these questions, okay, between the two of us and you have to answer it anyway. So today. you're going to fall in love with me today, <laughs> lah. But I'm already in love. <laughs> okay, okay, but okay. But it's more of we run through these questions okay. and then let's say somebody is going on their bumble date, your, uh-huh. their Tinder date, uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. Then um, they can probably... You know, pick out some of the questions that we'll be going through, okay, right? And okay. then you secretly, right, enter into your... Oh, you trap him! <laughs> <laughs> you think he don't know, right? Yeah, you suddenly just, out of nowhere, you ask him the question. Number 18, the question is... <laughs> mm, yeah, so I just ask you a question. <laughs> <the> casually, <laughs> la. <laughs> okay, okay. No, but that's the idea. We're okay. going to be running through, not 36, right? We're uh-huh. going to run through those that we think are more interesting. Okay. Okay, and then you can hear our answers, right? Uh-huh. And, and then you can also answer yourself while we're doing this right. podcast, right? right. Right. And then remember those that you feel is good. Yeah. So mm. so one exercise for you and Mandy to do is that after this you're gonna ask each other this thirty six <laughs> question, is it? I don't know. <laughs> I think you should do it. Uh. Comment down below if you want her to do <laughs> no, it. I think it's so embarrassing. <laughs> this is why. So, okay, just, just some context, okay? Mm. So, these uh, questions are actually um, created in 1997 mm-hmm. by a psychologist, right? So, he says that this, is, um, this will cause accelerated intimacy between two strangers, right? And apparently, after you do this exercise of 36 questions, you're supposed to look at each other, right? This is the fun part. For four minutes of sustained eye contact. Okay. Apparently, right? Right. Uh-huh. A lot of people avoid eye contact because it's too intimate. You know, they always say like eyes are the window to your soul and oh. things like that, right? <laughs> so, right, you know, I, sometimes I stare at Mandy, he's scared. One. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, right. So, apparently, that is um, another element of this test that you got to participate in. Lah. Okay, not just the question, but the eye contact part. And it even says here, this couple got married six months later. Leh. Yes. And even the New York Times article, it became really viral, right? Mm-hmm. Because I think the writer also got married <gasps> after she tested this out. Wow. Yeah. So, this is going to be like tough. They say it's tough because mm-hmm. you got to open your heart. Okay. But let's just give it a shot. Okay. Are you ready? I, I am ready. Because I, I feel like this will not work. Yeah, so I want to see how... <laughs> right, no, I mean, it's, it's something that is so... 
uncommon to me that you ask people 36 questions and you fall in love, one, right? So I, I want to test, put it to the test. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then we see, like, do we think so or okay, not, like, right? Do I get vulnerable <laughs> after this or not? Okay, so mm. there are three sets, right, in a varying, like, increasing amount of intimacy. Oh, so it's like difficulty level. Uh, 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 so we start at level one okay, first. Okay, level one. Nina? Yeah. Question one. What would constitute a perfect day for you? <laughs> a perfect day will be mm, I wake up without the alarm clock ringing mm-hmm. And then um, I have time to eat maybe mm-hmm. Then I, I do my work And then I eat again And then I go for a night drive mm-hmm. Then I end my day right. yeah, So I'm going to ask you back Sylvia yes. What constitute a perfect day for you? A perfect day is when I can wake up and then I can eat <laughs> <laughs> Like same off. And then I bring my pets out mm. And then I eat mm. yeah, same, same, same. <laughs> And then I read a book And then I'm pretty much done Hey, wow, It's quite similar huh? We are going to fall in love already guys <laughs> Wow Not bad Wow Yeah Okay Okay. Second question Do you have a secret hunch About how you will die Nina? Die of loneliness <laughs> <laughs> That is how I think I will die Yeah I answer already. Wow, do you know I secretly always thought I was going to die by drowning? Huh? Why? Really, especially in the sea. It's really, it's a thing in my head. That's How why I learned diving. How often do you into the sea? No, that's why I learned diving because oh. I was, you know, I always imagine I'm going to die in the sea. So I purposely learned so that I, I'm giving myself a shot. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. okay. Wow, not bad, not bad. Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Next one. Name three things you and your partner appear to have in common. So in this case, it would be me and you. Um, we are funny. <laughs> We, we are very chill Yes Yes And we are very Workaholic people <laughs> That's true God not Yes yes yes, God, yes, yes, huh? yes, yes, yes. I, I think that this appears you To be agree? our similarity yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay okay I agree okay. Yes uh. Especially the chill one <laughs> <laughs> Okay <laughs> Okay next mm. one What in your life Do you feel most grateful for? Is it this level one question? No I feel that like this one A bit intense eh Huh? No man. Is that this that? is vulnerable for yeah, you. Like what? No, this is why you know Nina is at minus twenty five <laughs> because she says she asked so many questions throughout her dating life and at set one she's saying this is too much. Yeah, because the questions that I ask are not like that, but what do you ask? I ask like hey, why you like that? Uh? <laughs> Like, why you never listen to me when I talk? <laughs> That's the kind of question that I ask. Oh no. Yeah, okay. okay, so what do I feel most grateful about in my yes. life? Uh? I feel very grateful mm. that uh, I'm being brought by my nanny. Yeah. yeah. Right. What about you? So I've started doing this uh, gratitude exercise uh-huh. every day. Uh-huh. So you know, right, nowadays, like, like mental health, you know, and I'm an advocate, right? So mm-hmm. I've been trying to do like this gratitude journaling kind of shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then you know what's the funny thing? What? Every day my answer is the same. Why is it? You can eat rice. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I don't know how people do this journaling, right? Because it feels like my answer is the same every day. Uh, I'm just really grateful uh, that my pets are not uh, dead, okay. right? They are here, and mm. then I'm staying with one family member yeah. at the very least. Yes. And uh, my house is very nice, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. And then I can order like lots of delivery food. food. Yes. <laughs> I know food is always an element. The because I think growing up Because poor right So mm. you can You must think Before you can order mm. Whatever you like mm. But now I can eat Whatever I like right. That's what I mean Yeah 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 Fair enough Fair enough I, <laughs> I, I agree with you yes, no, yeah. Yeah. yeah But okay, guys If you're doing gratitude journey, Tell me if I'm doing Something wrong Because like Every day my answer <laughs> When I wake up Is this same answer That's why I can answer you it, So fast It just shows that right You're a very consistent person Ah, that you know your answers, you know, you know what you're grateful for every day. You're not flaky. <laughs> Alright? Are you falling in love with me yet? <laughs> Guys, are you falling in love with us yet? Perhaps. Let us know. What's next is okay, two more questions in set A, okay? Mm. If you could change anything about the way you were raised, what would it be? If I could change anything, uh. oh see her face is starting to cramp up. Right, so that's a sign of a voice. Eh? <laughs> I think we've talked about that before. If right, I could change anything about it. Your I face is <laughs> literally scrunching up. Can you stop? <laughs> if I could change anything, mm-hmm. uh, with the way that I was raised, uh, I think mm. I wish that I have a closer relationship with my parents. Yeah, that mm. will be something that I I will change. Uh. yeah. <sighs> 
Don't do this type of thing. Why make me cry? No one. No, <laughs> I, I don't want. <laughs> We're just at set one. I know. That's why I see it's very intense. It is very intense because I can feel you not yeah. wanting to answer this question. Yeah. Wow, but it just shows, right? People who are avoidant is going to find these 36 questions really tough at bit. It is so tough and we are only in set one. Eh. Yeah. I cannot imagine what's going to happen later on. Eh. Right? Yeah. I'm a bit worried for you. I'm not worried for myself because, you know, I always like, you know, that day when I went to Aiken House and then we played the We Are Not Already Strangers game, mm-hmm. like, it wasn't my turn, but I answered every time. <laughs> I volunteer my answer until Aiken I just say, Stephen, it's not your turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, but no, then I ask you yes. the same, same question. If yes. you could change anything about the way you were raised, what would it be? Ooh, I think my child was really great. I, I know. The only thing I would change is probably because, you know, I don't have a grandfather because he died mm. before anything. So mm. I never really, I know mean, my dad is never around. So I really never had that, like. Father, Father figure. figures I'm just really su- Surrounded by Strong women That kind mm, So maybe you got Daddy issues uh, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Okay 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 So the last question For set one is mm. If you could wake up tomorrow Having gained Any quality or ability What would it be? Oh my god I have what I saying? want to eat anything I can <laughs> Then I will still Not just be not fat But be hot Like that's too much to ask He say one only So you either Is that more than one quality? Um, being perpetually you... hot Oh okay <laughs> No matter how much you eat Yes Okay Yes Wow Yes <laughs> I, I don't know why you want that I feel that you are great as you are like. huh? You know I have to do the running To keep this same weight if, even it's very tired no, right? Even if you are skinny For example yeah, right, yeah, yeah. It's still important to run right? <laughs> right or not Like important to keep healthy ma. Uh, yes, yes yeah. That's true so, That's true I mean Okay If that's what you desire <laughs> I just don't want to be I just want to eat As much food as I want You're already doing it now I don't no, see no. a problem with it <laughs> I really don't see a problem with you. I'm happy when I see you eat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> What's yours? I think I will want to wake up um, being able to speak proper English <laughs> <laughs> because everybody has been shading me for the way that I speak. Yeah. So I feel that if there's one thing that I want to change about myself that is still changeable but it's easier if I wake up tomorrow and can speak proper English, that will be that. Yeah, it will help me a lot in my life. <laughs> no, I know, I know you're all listening and you're like, you sound okay and everything, <laughs> but I know she's damn sensitive over it because... I cannot she, pronounce a lot of things. She cannot pronounce a lot of things. She, she's like, what's the Sephora? <laughs> decathlon. Yeah, what's the Decathlon? Uh? <laughs> you got Decathlon? <laughs> yeah, correct. So like, I, I think that one thing that will help me a lot, especially in work, will be this. Uh. No, yeah, really I cannot even pronounce Kinohimisu properly, you know, sometimes. So it's like... No, yeah. and it's damn funny. <laughs> because, you know, she likes to take those ang Yes. <laughs> and then sometimes she really don't get the accent. Then she'll just... <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Sylvia, no. Yeah, when in doubt, right, I will just laugh. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> that is true, right? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh my god, it's that funny. Hey, but actually, uh, I see a silver lining in this. Eh. What? Because I cannot understand properly what they say sometimes, yes. right? Then we avoid a lot of miscommunication <laughs> because I don't take it to heart. I just laugh. Ma. Yeah, so see, it's actually very good already. You don't need better English. Wow. Okay, <laughs> yes. yeah, so don't need. Okay, this question is redundant. <laughs> right. So mm. this is that one. What do you think? What do you think? I'm tired already. <laughs> Really? Do you feel it's tiring? So, the, the problem is, I trust Sylvia 100%, right? So, I can, you know, have this conversation with her. If mm. I'm talking to somebody, mm. like a, a, a person I'm dating, right? I have doubts, right? like I will be like, oh my god, I'm very dis- dismissive and defensive, right? Yes. So, I might not be able to answer as truthfully as what I'm doing right here in the podcast. I get it as well, because when I was reading through these questions mm. last night with Kitten, because she was cooking dinner here, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. I was just thinking, how do you broach something with, like, let's say, a Bumble date, mm. right? So I actually went back to re-download my Bumble, mm. just to see the conversations, right? Mm. And then just to imagine myself in that space again. Mm. So remember I was talking to this guy called Alpaca? Oh, yes, Alpaca! Yeah. Yes. So Alpaca is really nice, right? Mm. But I was, like, putting myself back in that zone, and I was like, could I ask Alpaca, like, what in your life are you grateful for? And I'm like... It's so weird Yeah, exactly right? yeah. It is a little bit weird And the question uh, Like the upbringing part Like what would you change About yourself Correct. being raised You know It's like Right Really If you talk about it It's really vulnerable questions eh? Yes And the thing is You don't even know How he's raised Yeah so, <laughs> but, but you are asking You're kind of like Asking to run Before you can walk already Actually you know? that's true huh Right Then it's like What would you change Then when he changed Then you'll be like Eh Sorry, uh, can we just rewind back to <laughs> part one? How were you raised? Maybe right. that is how you fall in love. 
<laughs> you know, maybe that's all. But I feel that these self questions, right, must be asked um, with a person that mm. you have known for a period of time. It probably yeah. won't work on the first date or the first few dates or yeah. the first few months, la. Yeah, yeah. I think so. You're right. So I would say that set one sounds easy, no. but I don't think it's first date material. Yeah, it is not. Definitely yeah. not. Are we ready for set two, guys? I guess. Okay. If a crystal ball could tell you the truth about yourself, mm-hmm. your life, the future, or anything else, what would you want to know? I don't think I have anything I want to know. Is that bad? No, no. I mean, that's your answer. <gasps> oh, I, you got, I, got, I got, I got, I got, I got. I got. I thought of a very frivolous one. What? I would like to submit my answers. Okay, sure. <laughs> I would want to know... Out of all the guys I was ever interested in, mm-hmm. right? Who is interested in me back? How about that? How about that? Can? Yeah? Sounds good. But will it change anything? It won't lah. I no. mean, if I have... I mean, since this is crystal ball mm. is there already, might as well ask, right? Okay, okay, then okay, okay, ask okay. Un- something fun ah. Okay, then uh. you know what? Then I know what I want to ask already. Tomorrow 4D, come out one number. <laughs> oh my god, that would be great too, huh? right? Your your... <laughs> no, but it's the truth about something. I think... Okay, I think... I have my answer already. Mm. God, I, w- I, w- I would love to lock it in the panel. <laughs> I want to know if um, I'm going to be doing what I'm currently doing for at least the next 10 years. Right. Yeah. But isn't this kind of question something you ask yourself? Huh? I feel that, okay, one thing about what we are doing, right? I feel it's a very volatile thing. Because anything can change anytime. Uh. So if the crystal ball tells me, say, no, la, 10 years later, you model. Nobody <laughs> wants to. Nobody want to watch you anymore. Uh, then I'll be like, okay, then I, I will probably give myself another few more months or years in this. Then I will, in, meanwhile, find, see what else I want to do, la, you know, that kind of thing. La. Is it? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. No, I'm I just saying, like, for me, I'm very scared to find out about the future one. Because I feel like it's going to change what I'm going to do today. Mm. Right? Mm. You know? I I'll don't want, I want to know. Really? Yeah, yeah. I want to know. There you go. I don't waste my time. Yeah. There you go okay. Next next. Is there something That you have dreamt Of doing for a long time And why haven't you done it Well I would like to say I feel like Nina is probably feeling Very personally attacked By this set of questions <laughs> Right now <laughs> <laughs> mm. Wow mm. Guys If you're like Dating somebody Who is really avoidant <laughs> I feel like This is a really Really great set I feel like of very ammunition <laughs> to I have with you. Yes, because I feel very confronted by these things. Right, yeah. you are right. I'm very confronted. Well, by I can it. feel it as I read it. Yeah. yeah. Oh dear. Would you like to answer, or would you like me? You to submit? answer first, lah. <laughs> submit your answer first. Okay. Is there something I've dreamt of doing for a long time? Why haven't I done it? I would like to say yes. Mm. So y'all know that I'm a serious kind of person mm. in life, and I've always wanted to do like a wellness kind of brand or mm. you know some community initiative kind of thing. Mm. And I've haven't really done uh, something that is mine that is a long term kind of brand mm. simply because I'm just too busy with work. Mm. So I guess that is the answer. But I am taking some little steps to get yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can tell. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What is yours? Are you getting emotional? I know. That's the thing. <laughs> That's the thing, you know. I said I am that kind that volunteers my answer. Okay, fine. That's why it's so different. Okay. Mm. All right. Next question. <laughs> no. <laughs> Avoidant little bitch. <laughs> uh, is that something I've dreamed of doing for a long time? Huh? Okay, I think I guess a lot of people don't know that. Uh, I actually have a huge interest in the car industry. Mm-hmm. So like, I think I've been. Always dreaming of opening maybe a chia pang or like a car workshop or something related to car. But it, it, it has not been happening uh, because I'm very focused with what I'm doing right now. So if talking about dreaming, I do dream that one day in time to come when I retire, I'll be sitting somewhere in Turf City with all the uncle, uncle all and then with a lot of cars. Lor. Yeah, so that will be my dream. Uh. <laughs> or, or you know what? Not East Coast Laguna, open one shop that sells Tiger beer. Also can. <laughs> Really, really, really. I'm not kidding. I really had this talk with my friend. What? Then do the kan zhe sui. That kind. <laughs> I'll be very happy le. Yeah. Really? Yes. You, you aspire to be a drink stall lady. So I aspire <laughs> that when I retire, for example, right? Right. 
with all the community work aside, there is mm. something that I enjoy doing, which is sitting at East Coast Lagoon doing kanzer, so selling tiger beer, that kind of thing. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very heartland. <laughs> yeah. I know, and this is re- I, I would say, uh, it's something new I've learned from you. I never knew you have such big dreams. <laughs> yeah. I really dream of doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Why? I'm very inspired when I see all the uncles selling beer one. Eh? Hey, really? Eh? Yes. Sometimes I feel like this is the simple life is the life. It is the life. You know, like yeah. we work so hard just so that we can have a space with our friends to just chill out. Correct. You know, yeah. why can't you just do that? Correct, correct, correct. Yeah. Next one. What is the greatest accomplishment of your life? See? Oh my god. I feel like Nina is having a cardiac arrest on my right. <laughs> I can feel her heart rate going up. <laughs> well, it's very hard because you know why? I never ever asked myself questions like this. Like, I never celebrated my ac- accomplishments. You see, I cannot pronounce properly. That's why I want to <laughs> wake up and speak proper English. So, see, you don't ask yourself this kind of questions. I avoid all these questions, one. Exactly. Yeah. Oh so, dear. you answer first, all. <laughs> okay, so I, on the other hand, is mm-hmm. always thinking about such things. So, I would say, like, my greatest accomplishment in life has yet to come, but uh-huh, I am planning, uh-huh. I am planning. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I, I think if I do this, it will be. Okay. 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 So currently, my greatest accomplishment is surviving my divorce. Mm-hmm. Yes. But it will be a greater accomplishment, like a real one to me, to soon really share my life perspective as someone who is divorced and really not be afraid to talk about it. Mm. And I think so far, I'm still quite afraid to talk about it mm. because... I scared people judge me yeah. And then I scared people Make comments like mm. You're still talking About your divorce But at some point I'm like You know I, I, If I keep denying I can never move forward As a person no? Because I'm trying to pretend Oh that didn't happen yeah. <laughs> Let's just uh, Let's talk about my life As a working adult And just ignore that part I feel like you can't Move forward authentically As a human being Right mm. So my greatest accomplishment Will be the day When I really You know Be, be ready to share Everything from that perspective And I think Knowing you right When you share this right It's not just because You want to talk about it It's because you also want General public to know yeah. That you know What you have gone through Some people can relate You know They might they might look at your um, Life experiences And gain inspiration From it as well Correct yeah, So it's not more It's not like Just you telling your story And like bitching about it Correct yeah. And in all honesty I thought I was just Going to pretend And move on mm. Until the other day My friend She got a divorce mm. And then she texted me And she said Siva I just want to tell you I know very random mm. But I'm going through A really tough time mm. And somehow I told myself If Silver can do it So can I And I was yeah. like Babe, I did not know I was your divorce role model. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> and she's like, no, really. I told myself, if Siwa could do it and she could do a video about it, yeah. right? And I'm going to be strong today. And I was like, wow, thank you for giving me the strength because I gave you the strength. Now you're giving it back to me. Because how many people will publicly announce that they're getting divorced and still sit with that, the partner and talk about it? You Correct, know? Yeah. right? Yeah. So I thought, oh, wow, I actually helped her somehow, strangely. Mm. So mm. yeah. Okay, okay. So what's yours? <sighs> that, that, that. I, I love how you like Oh very enthusiastic And engage in other people's vulnerabilities But when it comes to your own It's like <laughs> Okay I think my greatest accomplishment in life Is to mm. um, Finally be able To uh, Give my nanny a comfortable life After her raising me For the longest time ever Yeah Right mm. So still sufficiency Yeah like And providing Correct Like she want ones. to go market She asked me for $10 I give her $50 $10 <laughs> can buy what? Uh, that kind of thing <laughs> Right yeah. mm. Okay Next one What is your most treasured memory? Ah <sighs> <laughs> Don't ask oh me God, I'm so amazed Because <laughs> like Jade is laughing I think she's quite shocked That you're expressing Such disdain And contempt for this set of questions <laughs> These are supposed to be A really really fun And light topic <laughs> We can all see you struggling So if you're watching On YouTube You can see her struggle If you are Listening on Spotify uh, I'm sure you can feel Her struggle Through the radio waves <laughs> You save us you're so terrible eh. I feel like I don't want to save us Because I feel like You're just co- going to copy my answer <laughs> No, I see where I copy your answer from Just now again I never copy, okay You don't You don't <laughs> Don't you start bitch. a primary school thing on me oh. <laughs> <laughs> My most treasured memory I have a lot of memories mm. Let's see what is my most treasured but memory Most treasured one very hard la. After a little break we, I thought about it I have a lot of treasured memories mm. But I can tell you The theme Mm. It's all to do with people that I love mm. And it's 
all to do with family. Mm. So I I would treasure like me hanging out with my mom, mm. right? I would treasure me making donuts with my grandma. Mm. I'll treasure a pocky lying on my stomach. Mm. So it's really very family based. Mm. As I'm going through and deciding which one is first, mm. I realize okay, I can tell you the theme. It's just family. Right. I know you're gonna hate this, right? But I'm gonna copy your answer. It's because it's my nanny. Yeah. So I think my most treasured memory with her is just everything, ah. Very hard, like, oh my god! I'm gonna cry already! <laughs> oh dear, we're making Nina cry. Nina is crying. Oh my god! It's so stressful! <laughs> uh, I'd rather shoot sugar melon! <laughs> oh my god! We're in set two when Nina is crying. <laughs> oh my god, this is so hard! Why? Yeah, okay, so be strong, huh? Okay. It is everything that I've went through with my nanny. Yeah. So that will be the treasured memories. I give you more than what you asked for. You want one, I give you everything. Yeah. Okay. Like the struggles or the daily life with her, is there anything in particular that's in your head right now? Okay, I think the most um treasured memory is because you know there was a point where my nanny, right, was moving away and then she kind of like didn't want me to move with her. She wanted to return me to my parents, la, basically. La. Mm. But then I forced myself, I like packed my own bag, right? Then I stayed with my mother for a month, right? Mm. And then after that, they have no intention to bring me with her, ma. So I also go and knock the door, then I bring my bag in and then ever since then, she never said anything. So she did not like, you know, throw me out like that. I, Cause I know she also <laughs> <laughs> want to be with me. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Wow. So ever since then, that was like when I was seventeen, la. Right. Yeah. Where you forcefully moved in <laughs> with your nanny. Like she tried to abandon me, right? But I re reversed the situation so that yeah, cause I know what she thinks, ma. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> oh my god, it's so hot. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we can have ASMR around sound of the day. Nina's heart breathing <laughs> as a commercial break. <laughs> oh my god, how nana! Wow, I can hear like you're laughing, but it's a struggle. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow, 36 questions, this psychologist, you, you really got to do your work. It's, I think it's working out. I think it's working out. It's, it's making me depressed! <laughs> Wow uh, well, Nina, uh, I've never seen you cry Even when you break up But you're crying at 36 questions We're not even halfway there We're at set 2 Help la. This is so amazing <laughs> So hard why, why are you crying though? I mean, can I just like dive deep a little bit? Okay. Like, why are you crying? Is it because you're embarrassed to tell this story? No. Or you're scared? Or you have never told anybody? I think it's because, right? Like it did uh, a memory of me that I tried to bury yeah, for the longest time. So every time when I think about that, it like I will I will just like try and avoid thinking about it. Yeah. So right now I'm just emotional because right, I'm so glad that I really like forced myself back into my nanny's life. Because I know she wants um, you know, me to be around. <laughs> yeah. So I think being stubborn is great. La. <laughs> yeah, so I think this question really like dive quite deep into a, something that I never really wanted to acknowledge. La. Right, yeah. and I guess it's a hard topic because most people live with their parents, but your case is really a really very different one that you are brought up by somebody who is essentially not blood related, a stranger. Yeah. But yeah. like I can see and I can feel on set now that your ties to her are really stronger than your ties to a lot of other people. Of course, yeah, yeah she brought me up. Uh. Right. Yeah. Okay, wow. moving on. <laughs> moving on, I would like to say that the moral of the story is if you're dating Nina, you will know who is the most important to her at this stage. Right? And if you, you play your cards right. <laughs> Right Oh my gosh I feel like 36 questions Really reveals These kind of things Like who do we Really really care for Right Oh my god I don't ever want To do this again <laughs> Well we still got Two more questions So set two like, We haven't even Done with set two Don't okay. cry okay, okay next 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 Okay okay yeah. What is your most Terrible <laughs> memory <laughs> I have a mental breakdown <laughs> <laughs> oh my god 
when I saw right you were reading right, I want to go berserk already. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm very amazed at the response I'm getting today. Uh, Names, that means you really don't talk about such things. I do And I think mad. it's hard. I think it's hard also for you because you know that we have, you know, all the 30 sisters community listening. Yeah. Right? I guess it's just hard to, like, go public in a sense to share this with so many people, right? Yeah. Yeah. And um, so, my terrible memory, right? I'm not going to talk about my nanny so I won't cry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't think of anything now. You say first. <laughs> My most terrible memory. Mm. Let me think. You know, mm. I think it's quite fun because my my I, unlike you, <laughs> right? I do think of such things. So when you say terrible memories, right, it will always be related to work. <laughs> There's a general, you know, uh, theme, right? Mm, mm. And it's usually bad decisions that I make mm. or like I regret. After I talk to somebody harshly mm-hmm. And I feel like Oh my god I'm such a bitch mm. And then I'll replay Those conversations That you could have been Not a bitch Like why were you Not patient Yeah Right Yeah. Uh, so terrible memories Are usually This kind Where I feel like I let down somebody mm. Especially mm. at work mm. Yeah It's mm. always Along this line Right mm. Right Yeah, Which is really bad I mean, yeah, and knowing that what you do on a daily basis, right, it's mm. like a, a bulk of your life, so, and you are very people orientated as much as you might not think so. Uh. Yeah, but you actually do care a lot for the stuff and all that. It's just that your lang- like the love language is different. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's very hard for people to get you unless they truly understand you. Correct, correct, yeah. yeah. So sometimes when you do something, you know it's out of love, but they might not receive it that way. That's correct, why you correct. feel that way about yourself. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so terrible memories are usually this kind. Mm. Yeah. Okay, the last terrible memory that I had, right? Yes. I would say something related to Thirsty Sisters. Oh. Okay, so um, it, it's quite horrible because I think we started Thirsty Sisters um, during CB last year. Mm-hmm. And then during Mother's Day, right? I was actually um, back, ho- back home to pass my mother bird nest. Lah. Mm. So... My mom was actually um, very against the idea of us doing Thirsty Sisters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I actually had an argument with my mom mm. um, on Mother's Day itself. Mm. Yeah, so I think that was that was quite horrible because my intention was to you know be nice and you know go home for like a while and stuff like that. But uh, it did not end up well. So I think that was quite a terrible memory. That's why I said I always wanted to have a good relationship with my parents, but. Because they don't understand me So it's pretty hard To get my point across la. Yeah Right mm. Can I just shed a little bit More context Why she was upset mm. Right So I think I know the story mm. And I think Nina's mom Was quite upset Because We were sharing dating stories mm. We are sharing about You know um, Doing like Really stupid things With friends mm. And I think that Because it's so real And so raw I think she did like scold you a bit for not being proper. Yeah. Right. Like, why are you sharing all these embarrassing details of your life to public? Correct. Right. I think it embarrasses her in yes. a sense. Yeah. yeah. And I feel that because she don't understand me, so she was also shocked when she hear all these things. Because before Thirsty Sisters started, I was never very outspoken about my personal life. One. Mm. Yeah. It's only the acting, the hosting. You know, you, you rarely get to hear my personal stories. For you know, for the longest time since we started doing YouTube, mm. yeah. So I think that was quite terrible because I feel that it has reached a stage whereby, yeah, I want to be more personal with the people that have been supporting us, and you know, she was very against it and chose like not choose, but we ended up in a very unhappy, unpleasant argument on Mother's Day, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think that was quite terrible for me. Mm. Yeah mm. I think that's one of the most Terrible things That you have told me when, and, You know Because we are always So excited to shoot Trusty Sisters But did you know It's actually quite hard Yeah I remember right. I was messaging you And I was crying so badly oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, That okay. was terrible Yeah yes. it's very terrible okay. Last question Set two Before we let you Have a break From your breakdown <laughs> <laughs> If you knew That in a year You would die suddenly mm. Would you change anything about the way you are now living and why? This is so against you, I want to say. <laughs> because you said earlier at set one that you want to know your future. So now it's saying that you're going to die within a year. What are you going to do differently? Okay, if I'm going to die in a year, right? Yes. I will make sure that within this one year, uh-huh. I plan everything nicely for the people who are surviving mm. um, around me. So meaning that uh, I will 
set aside certain things or do certain things so that when I am gone, right, these people are taken care of mm. and that, um, you know, they, they can still live their life uh, knowing that uh, it wasn't a bad thing that I left for. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Planning. Uh, planning. <laughs> yeah, planning. That was what I'm going to do. Right. Yeah. Talk about it already. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. What about you? I work a bit, a lot less. Mm, mm. <laughs> I, I, I tell you, I agree uh, because you work so much. For me, I don't think I need to work any lesser, but you really have to work a lot lesser. Right, because I just feel like a lot of time is spent on responsibility yes. and obligations yes. and attending so many, so many meetings yes. and, you know, training camps and things like yes. that. That I feel like, as a person, I do have little, very little time to do what I really want to do. Yes. Right? So, I guess I would put take yourself leave. First. <laughs> put, put yourself first lah. For Correct. once lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Correct, yeah. yeah. Put myself first and then take leave from work okay. and say like, sorry, I'm going to die. So, <laughs> 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 so, I need like a one-year break. <laughs> okay. Wow. I don't know how is that going to pan out, but yeah, okay. And I think in this one year, I will actually... Play Play as in I'll explore things That I want to do Just because I want to do mm. Not because I need to excel in it mm. Yeah So that's what I would do differently Yeah And, and, and you know It's very scary one Because when people say Oh what, what do you like mm. To do Sometimes I'll say I don't really know Because I never had the time To go and explore those things mm. <laughs> yeah. So If I'm dying Next year I will take the time to explore And then I can give you an answer Yeah <laughs> And I hope that on a personal note, I hope that even if you are not dying next year, right, you will take the time to do things for yourself. <laughs> ah, I love that. <laughs> oh my god! And we are at the end of set two. <laughs> ah. <laughs> this is really quite funny to hey, me. This is the ah, eh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I don't know how people do this. Ah. So. Poki is so worried for you uh, now. Oh my god, I'm so worried for myself. Poki, Sensei is fainting. Uh, yes. And Nina took a five minutes break and we're back with set three. Yay! <laughs> 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 you know, I, I would like to say the first question of set three is really hilarious. Okay. And I would just like to give it to you right now. I just want to say, right, they don't let me see set three first. <laughs> so I really don't know what to expect. No, uh. it's quite funny. It's quite funny. Okay, I okay. think you might like it. Okay. When do you last cry in front of another <laughs> person? <laughs> Uh, let me think. I don't think I can remember. I just cry in front of all of you. Eh. What are you talking about? <laughs> How do you feel about that? Like, do you feel like, like relief, or do you feel embarrassed, or do you feel like what do you feel? I feel very stressed because I never really confront myself when it comes to this kind of thing. So mm. you know, having to think about it and um, really confronting it, it was very very tough. Eh. it's very stressful. Right. Yeah, my bra is wet now because I perspire <laughs> so much. Do you regret that you just cried in front of all of us? No, la, of course I don't. La. I mean, I, I feel like if this is the purpose of the questions, yes. and then if uh, I can cry, means that when you all answer the question, you all also can cry. The. Right. Yes. Okay, okay y'all mm. will find your emotional release as well. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so that was the first question of set three. It's oh. great. Yes. Set three is great. Yes, yeah. it is great. Yeah, so what about you? Oh, I can volunteer my answer. <laughs> the last time I cried was during Chinese New Year where there was this uh, movie about this dragon and the girl. Mm -hmm. Babe, I'm so lame. I'm just such a lame piece of human being. <laughs> you cry at such things, la. Yeah, and then when like the dragon died, uh -huh. and then like the girl cried because she loved him, you know that kind of vibe. And then I cried. Okay. And I, I I remember crying because I cried so hard. I was on the sofa like. Wait, <laughs> Shema. <laughs> 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 Wait, and then you know what's the worst part? What? I seldom cry, so I rewind and I <laughs> and I did it again because I wanted to cry more, but the scene ended, so I rewind. And you want to relive that moment yeah. again? And pretend it's the first time. Okay, I want to know what were you feeling when you you were watching it? What made you so emotional? Cry. Right. Yeah. So I think is. I actually am somebody who very much believes in love, Juan. Yes. And I'm always like. I always feel like the most wasteful thing in this world, right? Mm -hmm. Would be you love somebody and you never ever tell that person and you just let it go mm -hmm. because then, you know, you're missing out on an opportunity for something that is very magical. Right. You know, it's like, 
it's not even just once in a lifetime, you know. Mm. It is a gift, right? Mm. Not everybody will receive it, one. Yeah. And if you receive it, but you're too scared mm. or too whatever, and then you let it go, then it's very wasted to me, right? Okay. So it was that kind of story right. where, like, she had like her ego, her obligations, and then she didn't. Uh-huh. And then I was like, no. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, okay. I understand why you cry now because right, you really very hopeful in love, one. Yeah. yeah so that is your nemesis, la love, la uh, yes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> wow, this is so lame, man. Eh. I mean, like for me, la for yeah. me, it is so lame. <laughs> I you, know you're gonna think it's lame. A dragon died and then she cried. <laughs> hey, it was a very romantic story. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right. Just to say, yes. okay, okay. <laughs> the next question is: If you were to die this evening, wow. wow. What Set tree to die. <laughs> Set tree is very scary. No, I I read just read. Okay. These kind of questions are quite tough. Okay. If you were to die this evening with no opportunity to communicate with anyone, okay, what would you most regret not having told someone? Why haven't you told them yet? You can see this whole room is freezing out <laughs> because. Like, uh, sorry, did we just go from level 2 to 25 or something? <gasps> from the dragon die until we die, eh? <laughs> wow, it's tough because like, I think we all have in our head, right? Like, the real answer. Yeah. And then a uh, okay answer that we are really okay to release, but it's not as real. Yeah, correct. Yes, you right? are right. You can read my mind, eh? It's because like- I'm feeling the same thing and I think anybody who is listening will be feeling the same thing. Like, there will be a PR answer we were happy to give anybody who asks us. Yeah. And then there's one answer that we will keep to ourselves. It's like for me, right? Is do I want to give a la- answer that is funny and I just laugh it off, or do I want to be truthful about it and talk about it? You yeah. Know? You say first, oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey, it's not some dragon story. Okay. okay I thought about it. I thought about it already. Mm. Okay. The real answer, the one that I struggle a bit, like should do I say or do I give the PR answer? Mm. Is, I think I almost regret telling my dad that. I am not upset with him And he's a great dad mm. Mm. And I think this is Very very tough topic Ooh, mm. See we're entering Tough zone mm. I think it's a very tough topic Because this is a family That doesn't talk about Loving each other Yeah Right And like his relationship With his kids Are really rather distant I would mm. say mm. Right And it has never improved Not until at this point Right mm. It is still Like civil but okay mm. I think I just really Want to tell him that um, That it's okay That he has kind of Failed and it's okay to fail because mm. it is the way it happened. Mm. But we are not angry with him and yeah. he tried his best. And I think I can't say you and that why haven't you told them yet? Is wow, this is really hard to say because you mm. have never been close yeah. to a person that you love so much. Right? And you have never in your life have that space where you are able to share these kind of things with them. Yeah. So I would say that that would be my only regret. To tell my dad that you did great. Yeah, and I think because I've been around your family, right? Yeah. I that if there's one thing that's dismissive about you and avoidant, I think that will be the element because you mm. and your mom great, you and your brothers, your nephew great, but it's only with your dad that I see that there's really some distance. But I know that you care for him. Yeah. Yeah, I know that you really, really care for him, but I'm not sure whether he knows it. So when you say this, right, yeah. I, I, I get what you mean. Yeah, but it's so hard to say because like if you say that then he will have to admit that yes, I did fail, and I'm, in a way, I'm trying to tell. You don't want to say because I want to save his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Like, how can I forgive you if you never done anything wrong, right? Yeah. But you, you will have to admit that you were wrong. So I don't want him to go through that pain right. if he's not ready to admit. Okay. Yeah. And anyway, he doesn't listen to my podcast because I mean, like I our thumbnail is like black and pink. So. I will send it to him. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so terrible. Oh, no, I'm so scared. If he ever listens, I'll be so scared. But no la, But. You see, uh, this is a very good platform because you don't have to say it to him personally, right? But he will he will understand the message that you know you wanna put across. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, it's so tough. Yeah, it's actually very tough. Eh. I think about it, I, I can imagine. I conclude from what okay. set two, I have daddy issues. <laughs> <laughs> Nina is right all along. Yes, yes. Wow, I would like to say <laughs> Set 1, set 2, set 3 All secretly link up uh. Yes I'm perspiring for you eh. Right, I'm perspiring <laughs> Yeah My god, I feel like the ceiling is going to fall down yeah. <laughs> The lighting also changed already It's so dramatic <laughs> What's yours? Don't give me an easy answer, okay? Okay, I have no regrets, right? Um, with my nanny and all that Because I always give my best oh. But I think It will It will 
it will be my parents. Cause I think I was never really truly like you, very honest with my feelings about them. Yeah. So I think that is why they also want to try and understand me as a person, but they couldn't because I don't open up myself to them. Yeah. So I think one regret that I would have if I die today, right now, right, is that I never gave them the chance to to know me. Hmm. Yeah. Because I feel that I I might have some resentment inside of me mm. and that's why I don't feel that in a way they open and close inverted commas deserve to get to know me. Mm. Yeah. So I think that would be the regret that yeah. I have. Yeah. Yeah. I have this question. <laughs> Babe. Don't worry, I'm equally as traumatized as you by this same question. I know that was your answer and I know it's gonna be so hard. That's why when I know that if I don't say my dad one, you might not say yours. That's so true. Eh? You know, if you never say that, I really wouldn't. Uh. Yeah. yeah. That's so right. true. Yeah. The par- you know, like, as children, I'm sure, you know, we really, really love our parents. And I'm sure our parents love us as well. Mm. But I would like to say that it is hard. It is tough work to communicate. And a lot of times, you know, life just got in the way and you just did not communicate. Yeah. Right? Oh, wow. It's so scary to really live with all this regret. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be fair, okay. So I, I did try to reconcile my relationship with my parents many, many times, but it has been really, really very hard for me. Exactly. Yeah. So I maybe I I'm not trying enough. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like that's one reason why I never told my dad is because you need both person to come in and say, Hey, hey, we see the problem. We would like to try and acknowledge it. Yeah. You can't be like one person trying and say, I'm ready to forgive. You know, that kind of vibe. Yeah. You know, you know, when you say that you are trying to reconcile with them, right? You are like, okay, I'm ready to, you know, let you get to know me. But if they are not, you know, yeah. putting that initiative, yeah. they want to get to know you also in a sense, then you'll be like, then I'm wasting my time here. Correct. So my elder sister stayed with my parents, yeah. right? So when I told her certain things, right, she was like, Nina, you cannot expect daddy and mommy to, you know, understand you. That is not an expectation that you should have. And then, you know, I feel I want to take a few steps backwards already because if that's the case, then like, what's the point? Yeah, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it has to be your mom telling you that, hey, we fucked up. Let's talk about it. Let's work through this hard conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. Done. God damn. <gasps> I think the next one is a little bit more fun. Okay. Your house uh-huh. containing everything you own catches fire. Uh-huh. <laughs> We are talking about objects ah. Yeah, so after saving your loved ones and pets, right You have time to make one final dash to save one item What item are you going to save? I think this is a fun one After all that drama earlier, my god Yeah, yeah, yeah Actually, this one is quite fun ah. Yeah Okay, I think my answer will be The one thing I want to save is my sofa Because right, it's very new eh, And I (laughs) recently, I spent $2,500 on a two-seater if, if there's anything That's more valuable Than that in my house Other than the Kwan Nima That my nanny really love Right It will be the sofa lo. Are you serious? Yeah You're not gonna save Your unicorn soft toy And shit no, like no, that No 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 That one can all go away uh. <laughs> That one don't, don't matter to me uh. But I think it's the sofa uh. Cause it's expensive Yeah It's expensive for two seater Got recliner All this I will save it uh. I just recently bought only So yeah You're so cheap But okay <laughs> Yes Really in a fire you have nothing of sentimental value ah. I, if my nanny come out already Then nothing else matter actually ah. I mean Chiang choose the sofa one right? right I know what you mean right? Yeah. Most times it's humans And the loved ones that really matter Yeah Like yeah. if the nanny is out I still got one time Then I would choose yeah, what's I mean, expensive like, Yeah 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 Right not It's yeah, practical yeah. 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 You I, I think uh, It's quite similar <laughs> Yeah I will save the $500 plan Huh? Yeah Your mail Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because Mandy bought it for me Number one yeah. And it's really expensive And overpriced Yeah And if everybody is out And Pocky and Yami is out Right Then I'll save my next pet Or the plant Yeah exactly <laughs> I agree with you It's a good right. choice Right yeah. Wow I think this is a set two question Yeah 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 Okay, oh. okay. Oh, This is set, set one uh, If you ask me <laughs> Thank god <laughs> This is so easy yeah. <laughs> I wish all the questions Like that And that would be Finish all huh? the questions For <gasps> set three Holy Yes Set 3 was easier than set 2 If you ask me I really? feel that set 2 Was really the test of everything You know Really? Yeah Set 3 is where it gets hard for me I mean yeah For you yes I can tell mm-hmm. Yeah, You were more You were more in line with yourself And your feelings in set 3 Because mm, yeah. set 2 is still quite easy But the Okay so to conclude right mm. We did not fall in love with each other Oh my god Because we were supposed to fall in love with each other But right not No I would say oh, that no, huh? <laughs> 
so for those of you who are watching, right, what's the feeling that you feel now towards us? So it's apparently, right? It's supposed to make people feel that they are closer to us because now that they have known mm-hmm. our, you know, what's tough in our life, mm-hmm. you know, we have shared details that we never really wanted to share, but we share it anyway, mm-hmm. right? So people are supposed to feel like more empathetic, you know, more sympathetic. Okay. Nicer. Yeah. So let's see the comments in this section below to see if people are being nice or not. Okay, lor. I got a feeling people are just gonna say I cry too much. Uh. I like, cry don't stop. Eh? What the hell? It's really very tough. So, are you gonna ask these 36 questions to Mandy? Wow. Yeah. So, the conclusion, what I feel is set three is too way too tough. Even mm. though we are two best friends, mm. it's tough still. It's very tough. Right? Like, I don't think I'm gonna, like, to be honest, if I have time with you, I'm going to just sit here and chat and hear about your life. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to put you through this therapy session Correct. with me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because I feel like it's hard for you. Mm. Right? There must be a special time and place that you want to do this. So, set three is hard. Mm. Set two, I think it's also hard. Mm. Right? Especially for people like yourself. Mm. Right? So, I would say that set one is probably what you can do with friends. Yeah. Right? I feel like if you are looking to do this with your partner, right? You... Would probably really need to set aside a very good timing Preferably when your girlfriend is not on period also Because they tend to get a lot more emotional also And also do it with somebody that you have at least a basic understanding of Yeah You know like you It can't It really cannot be someone that you just know for like three months Cannot Yeah it really cannot So I think you should do it with somebody that you have a long term relationship with. Yes. Yeah. Then it probably will be easier for you also if you are like me who's hard to, you know, um open up yourself. La. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So to answer your question, will I do this with Mandy? Mm. I'll do what's your perfect day. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh my god And I think his answer Is the same as you <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, it's so tough So according to this Psychologist at the New York Times Article mm-hmm. guy, right mm-hmm. I mean the person, right mm-hmm. They say that After this They got married And stuff like that, right mm-hmm. Do you feel huh? That you might get married Or do you think That if you go to a date And ask this person He's going to like leave Because <laughs> this girl Is way too much Because <laughs> I am getting The feeling that I might leave eh. Oh, this is so tough eh. So the truth is right mm. I will never do this With a partner Never <gasps> Never Really? Yeah really never Because I feel that I'm, It's too vulnerable already Yeah I will never Want to show this Side of myself What if my he partner. offers His side of the story first? Then if his one Is more tragic than mine Then I will share <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think Maybe the other party Have to be more tragic first Then after that When I feel better about myself Then I will be able to share No, mm. I do feel that Everyone's life Is secretly tragic one mm. It's just how we choose to You know, run a story In our head to cover it up mm. And it's choose Whether we choose to Say the real story Or the PR story Yeah Right? Yeah So I think when you're do Okay, a tip to do this, right? Uh-huh. If you're doing it with somebody And you're seeing that He's doing his PR story then you, you can just tell him Let's not do this really. Because if you're going to be PR about it And we're not going to be Like diving deep mm. Right And really saying the truth Then let's not waste time yeah, yeah, On yeah, this 36 yeah. Let's just go and watch A dragon story Yes 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 Actually that's true lah. Yeah. I feel that That's how I approach this Is that I really was thinking I think the initial part Of these questions right, I was just trying to Laugh it off mm. But I tell myself like You know I, I, I want to confront this like, that's, If not now I don't think I will ever Yes So I just went for it And it really Helped me to understand Certain things That I've been trying to avoid For yeah, a long time too. Yeah So before we wrap it up We just want to remind you That we did not do All 36 questions Neither did we stand To each other's eyes <laughs> For <laughs> this Which you are highly Encouraged to do As part of this Program <laughs> Okay yes, yes. But Okay mm. Just you know For engagement With y'all right mm. To see what y'all like From this right So mm. for me I'm taking away The what's the perfect day Question Yeah What are you taking away My one is If your house on fire Which one will you What item will you take What well, set three yes, questions Set left. three one Yeah Right so tell mm. us You know from this podcast Which is the question That resonated with you And the one that You're going to be Likely to ask people That you're dating yeah. or, you know, or your close friends Yeah And also If you already Answer this question With your partner Or, or going to do so right I want to know What's the conclusion 
that you all get after answering the question and staring into each other's eyes for four minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must tell yeah. us like, did I fall more in love or yeah. like I got a bit creeped out? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah correct. <laughs> I want to know when some when a couple right complete this assignment, what is the conclusion? Oh yeah, yes, correct. Yeah. Is it you break up or you get married? Yeah, or either that or you ghost the person after that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right? There's many ways to go. Correct. Right. Yeah. So thank you so much for listening in to 36 Questions to Fall in Love. Mm-hmm. This is Sylvia. This is Nina. And we're going to do our ASMR sound of the day before we leave. You know, that style is called fast and aggressive ASMR. What yeah. you already did. This is. This is gentle. Do you know it shows our personality <laughs> <laughs> from the way we do ASMR? <laughs> All right, and that's yeah. us signing out. Bye, guys. Bye.